huge news, guys. The Inspector General of the Pentagon, of the intelligence community, has replied to Temper Chet and the other members of Congress who wrote that letter demanding to get David Grush in a skiff. This is huge. This is disturbing. It is, it is, it is alarming, but we need to talk about it. This is massive, guys. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you wanted to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, please consider becoming a channel member. See the first link in the description below. Okay, let's get to it. Now, this is Major David, I mean, the, the Inspector General is the one that is the, the, the only one that can clear David Grush to speak about certain matters. And he, ha he has cleared David Grush on speaking about some of this crash retrieval stuff. He hasn't cleared David to share any uh, evidence or to re reveal certain things. We don't even know what David Grush can't say. But uh, the Inspector General has written this letter to members of Congress specifically talking about David Grush. So let's find out what he is saying. The Inspector General is all important figure in this whole David Grush drama uh, has just dropped a major bombshell, guys. Major bombshell. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole letter. I will just get to the pertinent part of it. As a matter of discretion, ICIG, the Inspector General, uh, notes that it has not conducted any audit, inspection, evaluation, or review of alleged UAP programs within the responsibility and authority of the DNI that would enable this office to provide a fulsome response to your questions. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this matter. Whoa, what the hell? That's what Thomas Monaheim, the Inspector General of the Pentagon, has said in response uh, to, I suppose, the letter by Tim Grush, Anna Polina Luna, Muskowitz, and others uh, asking to get a skiff with David Grush. Uh, they are being denied. Now the Inspector General is saying they never actually investigated any of this UAP program stuff. What the hell? What the hell is going on over there? I mean, we know this stuff is real. Congress is passing legislation based on this that mentions non-human intelligence over 20 times. So clearly David Grush isn't making this up. So what the hell is going on? What is the Inspector General doing? Is the Inspector General part of the cover-up? Is he part of the control group? Is he being forced to say this? Is this something that he would have been predisposed to say all along? Uh, he has not been outspoken about this until now. This is the first public comment that I've seen from him. If you've seen uh, more from him, let me know. But this is massive. This is because it, he is the gatekeeper in all this. He, he, he is the one that can clear David Grush to say more. He is the one that can uh, share this information, this classified evidence of uh, UFO reverse engineering and retrieval programs with the public. And God knows what else they're doing that David knows about that, you know, the evidence that he's presented to the IG. So this is huge. This is major. This is disturbing. This is this is not good. Is there some wiggle room here? Is, is he, you know, because let's read this, the, the pertinent part again. As a matter of discretion, ICIG notes that it has not conducted any audit inspection, evaluation, or review of alleged UAP programs within the responsibility and authority of the DNI. Is there is there some some wiggle room there? <laughs> is there something outside of the DNI uh, that they could do? I don't know. Now, of course, the Inspector General they handle they handle reprisals and stuff like that. That's what David Grush was, you know, submitting his complaint for. That is what the IG is for. Uh, and, and, and pertaining to all this, they are not a UFO uh, investigative body. That's why we need the select committee in Congress. So, you know, again, what the hell? We know David Grush submitted his information and his evidence that he gathered from uh, 40 different witnesses that it, some of them have direct involvement in the UFO reverse engineering and crash retrieval operation. We know that he submitted that to the IG. So if the IG is not doing anything with that uh, outside of investigating the reprisals, um, you know, because they're trying to protect whistleblowers and, you know, that's their job. And I 
totally get that. But if they are not doing anything with that information, that in bombshell information about UFO crash retrievals and reverse engineering, what are they doing? Where, where is that information going? Is it just gathering dust? Uh, we know that David Grush has also testified uh, to the intelligence committees of both chambers of Congress behind closed doors. It doesn't appear that a whole lot of people were involved in that. Um, you know, the Congress people themselves weren't sitting in at that testimony. So, um, you know, again, where is this information going? Here's an article from The Hill about all this. Let's see if they have any useful uh, light to shed on this. GOP rep renews UFO cover-up claim after Intel watchdog response. Representative Burchett on Friday doubled down on claims of a Pentagon cover-up over information about UFOs, commonly dubbed UAP. Burchett requested that the Inspector General of the Intelligence Committee community investigate claims that military officials are withholding information from Congress about UAPs following a hearing last month. Inspector General Thomas Monaheim responded Friday saying that there is no information to share. The letter from Burchett specifically asked which officials or facilities were involved in the investigation of possible UAPs and the Inspector General's reply did not provide those details. And we know that Grush gave those details to him. So even if the IG is not actively investigating these claims, they could at least uh, provide that information, right? Uh, and they could, you know, they could get David Grush in a skiff with Tim Burchett. Uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. The Tennessee Republican is among a group of half a dozen members of Congress who led a hearing into UAPs in July, saying that additional information from military leaders is needed and that the government must be more transparent in communicating information about the objects. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to read the whole article, but I'll link to it in the description below. But yeah, you can see what's going on. The, the, the cover-up is real and is really unfortunate because David Grush has been recommending and uh, shepherding other whistleblowers uh, through the IG, you know, uh, I guess in an, an attempt to circumvent Arrow and Sean Kirkpatrick and, you know, what I think of as the overt cover-up, uh, you know, he was uh, actually allowed to get some information, information out through the Inspector General. So, um, you know, if these other whistleblowers are being funneled through the Inspector General, what can we expect uh, uh, as the outcome from that. Will we get more information on par with the information David Grush was able to reveal? I guess we'll get more out of that than Sean Kirkpatrick. Um, but still, this is, this is not good. It seems like the Inspector General is uh, stonewalling this and, um, you know, doing a serious backpedal on the whole David Grush situation. Again, I totally understand that the Inspector General is there to, uh, you know, protect whistleblowers and investigate reprisals. It is not their job to investigate UFO uh, programs, to delve into the control group. But they do have this information. They do have that evidence. And they are authorized, as far as I understand it, to share that information and to allow David Grush to share it, to allow David Grush to get into skiff uh, with these guys which would then give them some impetus, some, uh, some leverage into getting this select committee uh, to at least get more UFO hearings. Anna Polina Luna seems positive about the idea of getting more UFO hearings. Apparently, Timber Chet is working on that and they expect that to happen, but they don't expect the select committee to go forward. And that's what we really need is uh, even if it's not a select committee, even if it's some other form of committee that's more of a permanent body, because I understand the select committees are more of a temporary nature, uh, we need a permanent body within Congress to investigate this whole thing, the whole UFO crash retrieval reverse engineering stuff, the control group sort of thing. We need a permanent body in the public purview in Congress devoted specifically to this information. But we can't get that if Congress isn't allowed to get that information. So, you know, we're at an impasse, I guess, until something something gives. And I had hoped it would be in the Inspector General of the Pentagon. Uh, the previous Inspector General, uh, as far as I understand, is a, a staunch ally of David Grush and has even become his attorney. So, uh, what's up, Thomas Monheim? <laughs> anyway, a huge news 
breaking news, a uh, very juicy story, and I will keep my eye on it. And if you see something before I do, let me know. But if you've enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. I would love to see you guys there. Uh, I've just started, or I've had help. I have had help starting a Discord server, and I really appreciate you guys for helping out with that. And that is being uh, built right now, and uh, shortly I hope to put the invite for that uh, in the description of these videos, and we can start a Cosmic Road community on Discord. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, hit like, hit subscribe. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, please consider becoming a channel member, because channel members are rock stars, and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much. Uh, meanwhile, there's plenty of other videos to check out on the channel, and I'll see you next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.